Hi guys, are you interested in getting a free back cover with your next back purchase? Stay tuned. here from Bat and Ball Cricket and welcome to episode number 15 for the 2018-19 Australian Summer. Guys, today we're looking at my new batting gloves for the 2018-19 season. We're looking at my B3 traditional style batting gloves. Right guys, let's get into this one. All of the B3 batting gloves come with this high quality uh, bat, batting glove bag. Uh, so good materials in it. And, uh, and mesh on the side for, for breathability. So uh, you have a, a lot of my, my criticism is with a lot of gloves, they come with a poor quality bag. Not the case on, uh, on these guys. So guys, these are the traditional style batting gloves. So all that basically means is that they are a sausage finger design. That's my preference, and often is the preference of most of the pros as well, as there's not any, anywhere near as many splits in the fingers, and so they are traditionally, more, uh, the protection is better because there aren't as many splits. Because again, these batting pads are the same as my early review of their batting pads, that these gloves are a, a test match quality and that absolutely comes through with their, with their design. There's nothing hugely revolutionary about the B3 batting gloves, but what they do very well is, uh, is do a quality product um, to, uh, to deliver to, to cricketers. So as we go through the, uh, the batting gloves, they are uh, very well padded on each and every one of the fingers. So the actual, uh, the actual sausage or top part is good solid padding. Then there's another layer of flat padding in underneath that um, before actually getting to your, to your finger underneath that. Each of the actual fingers are fiber uh, supported and on the two fingers that are closest to the, uh, to the ball, being bottom of the handle, those are actually reinforced with, uh, with a harder fibre uh, and, uh, and very, very good, good protection on those. Well, so when we look at the, uh, the batting glove, it does have the side of, of hand protection as well on both the top and bottom hands, so giving you that good extra protection. The thumb is a, uh, is a split thumb, and both of the, uh, the pieces of the thumb have a very, very solid, that's a high density foam um, protection piece on the, uh, on the thumb, and then fibre sheeting on, or fibre insert protection on the top of the, uh, of the glove as well, or, or the top of the thumb as well. However, the palm of these gloves are a sheep leather palm, which is absolutely my preference. I have used calf leather, I've used sheep leather, and I've used pitards, and out of those, uh, sheep leather is the one that I keep coming back to. Uh, it, I find that it is the if you look after it properly, it is the most supple out of the uh, out of the leathers. I know um, Pittards is designed to uh, repel sweat and to stay fresher for longer, but my experience with Pittards is that hasn't been the case. So I absolutely prefer a, a sheep leather palm on the batting gloves. Because as we come round the gloves, the other piece that um, to me says that they're not a, a cheaply or mass produced made, uh, glove is if we look at the actual thumb of the other hand, it's actually full leather. So generally on other gloves you'll see part of that being mesh or on even in some cases, all of the actual hand is a, is a, is a cotton on one side and mesh on the other. So that's a full leather uh, thumb on the, uh, on, the top, uh, on, on the top hand. So really, really good quality there. Uh, high quality wear patches um, on, on both gloves and across the thumb and in round you're actually handing, handling the bat uh, as well. So really, really, really good protection. The uh, nice simplistic uh, logoing and branding which allows their gloves and their, or their softs in general to go with any of the colour schemes. One of the things that I really, really like about these gloves and that probably I'm most in, not most impressed about, but one of the things that I really like are actually the black uh, sweatbands around, uh, around the wrist. I am quite a profuse sweater when I am batting, and so my, uh, my other or earlier batting gloves do actually get stained um, because they were white or semi-white you know, in, uh, in and around the actual sweatband. Whereas the black sweatband on these gloves make them stay look nice and clean and sharp um, for, for much, much longer. Right guys, that's, uh, that's pretty much all of the features of the, uh, of the batting gloves. 
uh, going through and giving these guys a rating out of 10. So the things I look for are design and functionality, build and material quality, and any customization. So the first one there, design and functionality. As I mentioned, there's nothing particularly revolutionary around this particular, particular glove. One of the things that I do like, and I haven't mentioned earlier, uh, are these extra pieces of the, of the hard, uh, hard protection on those two fingers that are closest to the ball. And then there's some carbon fiber across the other two fingers on this hand and on this hand. So even though that they are a very classic um, design, the actual, uh, the, there is some detail there to give the actual batting glove some, some life as well. So very impressed with that. In regards to the build and material quality, uh, there is no fault that I can find with these, uh, with these gloves. The, uh, the materials appear to be, I've only been using them for, uh, for a few weeks, but they appear to be quite hard wearing. The, uh, the batting gloves or the, the palms are staying nice and supple for me and I've had sort of good lengthy in them innings with these guys on Saturday and the, uh, the leather inside the glove is still as rich and as and supple as if I'd still just taken them out of the bag. The gloves still have a very new smell about them and, uh, and just come down to being, all in all, a really, really good quality uh, quality glove from their, uh, from their build. Often the things I look for are missed stitches or problems along those lines, and no problems with that whatsoever on this particular set of gloves. Last piece, guys, is any customization. No customization from this particular glove whatsoever. I have uh, done an ever so slight moving of the uh, Velcro on the wrist, uh, and that's just because I, I know that uh, my wrists aren't quite as thick as, uh, as what a lot of players are. And so uh, I have moved the Velcro just to make the glove a little bit firmer without. I don't like a, a big tab overhanging the Velcro, uh, so I have moved that Velcro across a little bit. So I'm not actually being critical of that, that's again just a fit for me. So guys, again, uh, consistent piece here for, from the, uh, the, the guys at B3. 10 out of 10 for the B3 traditional style batting gloves. Really, really good quality batting gloves. Guys, the thing to talk about here is in regards to their price. So the Australian retail site have these selling for retailing for $120, which is uh, equivalent to any glove that's on the Australian market. You're doing well to, uh, to find a batting glove of this quality for anywhere, anything under that sort of $140 mark. Uh, so at $120, these guys are really good value for money. Guys, as I've been organising my most recent purchase, the guys at B3 have been kind enough to uh, provide um, bat and ball cricket viewers with a, uh, an incentive on the next bat purchase. So if you're looking for a good quality stick, look at the guys at B3 Cricket. And for any of the, uh, the viewers of bat and ball cricket, get down into the description section and, uh, and pick up the details of how you can get yourself a free, high quality padded bat cover from the guys at B3 when you make your next bat purchase with them. I've uh, got a couple, so you can see I've got this one numbered up. So very, very good quality back covers, guys. Right, guys, so that concludes my review video of the B3 traditional style batting gloves. Guys, uh, realistically, probably only one or two videos left in this series for the 2018-19 Australian summer. Guys, if you haven't already done so, please check out some of the videos from earlier on in this particular series, or in fact, I've been running the channel now for a few years, so there's actually a couple of good videos there uh, back from the uh, from the early channel as well. Right, guys, this is Clinton from Battle Cricket. I'll catch you again in the next episode real soon. Bye for now.